Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this edit. Um, this is the straight out of camera. As you can see, it was a little bit darker. I took this just as golden hour was coming to an end, and the sun was already setting behind the trees. So this is where we're going to finish, and here is where we are going to start. The first thing I want to do is run the smoothing and sharpening. The smoothing really helps take care of any grain you might have and just kind of even it all out. And then the sharpening will bring back some of the details. So I'm going to play that. And you can play around with the opacity on either of um, those steps, but I'm just going to keep them at 100%. Um, because I like how it looks for this image, and then I'm going to flatten it. And the next thing I'm going to do is run the Storyville image base. Hit OK. Continue. As you can see, this action kind of made um, the image even darker than it was. Oops, don't know what I just did right there. So I'm going to turn off the darkened edges, and I'm going to decrease the contrast a little bit, and then I'm going to brighten up the whole image. So I'm going to turn that up to 100%, and I'm going to take a soft black brush at about 50% opacity and kind of wipe it off of that area on my daughter's shirt because it was a little bit blown out. And then I'm going to turn up the color Dazzle to 100% to really bring in some nice tones. Um, again, like around 50%, I'm going to just wipe it off of the skin so it's not overbearing and maybe a little bit off of the flowers. So that's before and that's after the action. Um, and I'm going to flatten it again. So layer and flatten. And then I'm going to go back over to my actions and I'm going to select the Storyville Charcoal Gray and I'm going to run that. And I'm going to actually invert it because I want it all over the whole image. And then I will mask off um, like her sweater and the hair and the areas that I don't want it. So Command I. And as you can see, very, very dark because these actions come on strong. So I like to play with the opacity, start out at zero, and then just kind of crank it up to where my eye likes the tone. And also keep in mind we're going to be adding an overlay light. So it's also going to brighten up the image. So... I'm going to take that off of her hair, 100% opacity with a soft black brush and her clothing there on the white skin. And if you're doing this for a client or you want to print it, I would really get in super close and make sure that there's no halo on your subjects. But for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going to do a quick mask and not spend too much time on it. So that is the before and after. And then I'm going to flatten that. So layer flatten. And now we're going to grab a light overlay. So click on that. Um, Command A highlights it or selects it all. Command C copies. And then Command B pastes it. Set it to screen mode. And then Command-T so you can transform it wherever you'd like. I'm going to drag it down a little bit, pull it over them. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little blur to it. So Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And that looks about good, about 48%. Now, if you want, you can always add a mask to these and wipe it off where you don't want it. But in this case, I'm going to leave it over them. This is the before and after. And there are just a few other adjustments I would like to make before we are complete. So I'm going to go into the adjustments and I'm going to take a curves layer um, adjustment and pull up on the midtones a little bit and keep that on the whole image. And then I want to grab one more curves layer and pull up a little bit more and then I'm going to invert it command I and I am going to have a soft white brush and I'm going to just spread that over the white sweater to brighten it up a little bit 
And as you can see, it still looks pretty dingy. White really likes to take on the colors that is around it. Um, so to fix that, I'm going to take a hue and saturation um, adjustment layer, hit this little finger guy, and click on her sweater, and just desaturate it. And that took care of that problem. And it pulled a little bit of the blue out of my daughter's sweater, but we still have a little bit more um, that I'd like to take care of. I going for more of a gray look here. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to desaturate that. It's amazing what that little slider can do. So before and after on those guys. So I think we are done here. I really like the overall look and I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a super fast edit um, and you can find these actions and overlay on the Storyville uh, photography website www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.